Hi, Dr. Rivers here with a short lecture on principles of gas laws. Gas pressure. Gas pressure is caused by the force exerted by gas molecules colliding with the surface of objects. Although the force of each collision is very small, any surface of appreciable area experiences a large number of collisions in a short time, which can result in high pressure. In other words, more collisions, higher pressure. Pressure equals force divided by the area, and we know that force equals mass times acceleration. Therefore, the greater the acceleration, the greater the force. The greater the force, then the higher the pressure. There are several units of conversion that are used to carry out gas law calculations, and they're shown here. Atmospheric pressure equals 1 atm. SI units for pressure is pascals. So one pascal, the SI unit for pressure, is defined as the pressure exerted by 0.1 millimeter high film of water on the surface beneath it. And there are several conversion factors that are used to carry out these calculations. So what is the effect of temperature on gas pressure? An example is shown here that when the hot plate is off, the pressure of the gas in the sphere is relatively low. As the gas is heated, the pressure in the gas sphere increases. So, in other words, more higher temperature leads to greater pressure on this closed system. There are several gas laws and several gas law variable relationships. Boyle's law states that the pressure of a gas is inversely related to the volume when temperature and moles are constant. If the pressure increases, then the volume increases. Charles' law states that the temperature, and these, this temperature must be in Kelvin, of a gas is directly related to its volume when P and N are constant. If the temperature, again in Kelvin, increases, then the volume also increases. gay sykes law states that the pressure of a gas is directly related to its temperature, again in Kelvin, when V, volume, and N, moles, are constant. If the pressure increases, then the temperature, in K, also increases. Avogadro's law states that the volume of the gas is directly related to the number of moles of the gas. If the number of moles is doubled, the volume must double at constant temperature and pressure. The combined gas law incorporates all the pressure, volume, temperature relationships. It is useful for studying the effect of changes in two of these variables on the third variable when the amount remains the same. And when talking about amounts, it's, it's calculated in moles for gas law problems. The idea of gas law is a combination of the four principles P, B, N, and T, written as a simple expression of P, B equals N, R, T. These formulas are shown on the right side of this slide. STP, standard temperature and pressure, is not a formula. It is a set of conditions, and those conditions are 0C, which means 273K, 1 atm, and 22.4 liters moles per every liter. In other words, at STP, there are 22 moles in one liter for any gas, regardless of the gas, that is that is the number of moles it would have. Therefore, STP can be used as a conversion factor. So what are some other gas law principles? The mole fraction of a gas is the number of moles of the gas here, A, divided by the total moles of the gas in the mixture. In other words, you would add up all the moles of all the gases, and you would take the gas that you're interested in and put it on the top and divide it by the total, and you would get a mole fraction expressed as a decimal, not as a percentage. Dalton's law of partial pressure states that the total pressure depends on the total number of gas particles, not the type of particles. In other words, all gases 
act for all practical purposes the same regardless of whether it's nitrogen oxygen or any other gas they act the same the pressure exerted by the gas mixture is the sum of the partial pressures of these so in order to find the individual partial pressures we would take the fraction or mole fraction expressed as a decimal times the total pressure and we would get the partial pressure of the individuals gas diffusion is the gradual mixing of molecules of one gas with molecules of another by virtue of the kinetic properties in other words the gas the gas each gas has a specific um, set of kinetic properties or kinetic properties related to it and that causes it to diffuse at a certain rate gas law effusion is the process by which gases under pressure escape from one compartment to another by passing through a small opening in general when we talk about diffusion and effusion we talk about diffusion we typically think about the rate when we talk about effusion we typically talk about the the time note that in the equations when setting up the equation r the rate is diagonal to its matched molar mass t time is matched directly across from its molar mass average kinetic energy a gas is composed of molecules that are separated from each other by distances far greater than their own dimension the molecules can be considered to be like periods that is they possess mass but have negligible volume in other words they have mass but not much volume gas molecules are in constant motion in random directions and they frequently collide with one another collisions among molecules are perfectly uh, elastic based upon first approximation considerations so in other words for all practical purposes gases collide like marbles gas molecules ideally exert neither attractive nor repulsive forces on one another again at first approximation considerations so to repeat gas molecules basically act like marbles bouncing off each other or off the walls they don't have any uh, attractions or repulsive forces to speak of average kinetic energy of a molecule is proportional to the temperature of the gas in Kelvin any two gases at the same temperature will have the same average kinetic energy so if you know the temperature the gas at the same temperature regardless of what the gases are their average kinetic energy will be the same root mean square average velocity is another way of expressing the kinetic energy or of gases root mean square velocity is the average velocity of the molecules that make up the gas and both these may be calculated by the formula shown on this slide 